He used a phrase that, that Trump was disseminating knowingly false information. The word that's carrying a lot of weight there is the word knowingly. Um, so knowingly implies a knower. Do I think the information he was disseminating was false? Yes. Do I think that Donald Trump has a unique capacity to convince himself of nearly anything that is to his own benefit? Absolutely. And I think that that's actually what Donald Trump was doing there. And the evidence of that is Donald Trump being a human and all of us watching him for the last several years. Uh, so, you know, the, the idea that, that he knew it to be false I'm not even sure those standards apply in any, like, and just assessing him as a human, which is really what we're being asked to do because there's an intent element to, to this crime. You know, d does Donald Trump, do you think that today Donald Trump knows that he lost the election? Absolutely. So I, I don't actually, <laughs> I think but that- when we, so I'm glad that you have the attorney background. When we are assessing mens rea, when we're looking at certain criminal statutes where intent is required, it's a reasonable person standard, right? Like uh, would a reasonable well, person have known that they were uh, no, it depends on the mens rea standard. So it, it, it's not the same in every case. If you have to establish individual intent, mm -hmm. then it's not enough to say a reasonable person should have known. That would be enough for a negligence statute. Sure, Usually when you're talking about reasonable people, person statutes, just legally speaking, mm -hmm. a reasonable person statute is should a reasonable person have known? That's when you get to like manslaughter. Sure. You can't do a reasonable person standard on like first degree murder. So for, you have to establish actual motive in first degree murder. But for first degree murder, you don't need the statement of I plan to kill this person or I intend to kill this person. We can no. prove that state of mind. You, no, you need, a, you need a, you need circumstantial evidence. Correct. Yes, yeah. sure. You could prove so it. So I feel like my, my feeling for Donald Trump was there were all these people around him that he trusted to investigate election fraud. He trusted Barr and the DOJ. He asked Pence, uh, his vice president, to look into it. He asked his chief of staff. He asked his legal counsel. There's so many people that uh, ostensibly uh, he trusts them if he's asking them to look into it. And when all of them looked into it and reported back to him, no, we found nothing. What, in, unless we're going to literally make the concession that Trump might actually be a delusional psycho man, at that point, should he not have realized, like, well, okay, maybe that's not a thing he should have realized the day of the election that he lost the election, but that's not, but that, that's sure, but not I'm just the asking, I'm saying that, like, at that point, should he not have known that for him to go and, and propagate those claims that he'd asked all of the people he trusted to research and then for him to take those claims to uh, Michigan and to Georgia and then publicly and to try to but convince people to, to throw out the election, you don't think that- But you're doing the same thing. You're reverting to, should a reasonable person have known? Yes, a reasonable person should have known. Did Donald Trump know? That's, that's, a, that's, a different, that's a different question. And so conflating those two questions is going to get you into some message territory. By the way, this is why Jack Smith charged the way Jack Smith charged. Yeah, which wasn't- right, Jack Smith did not charge conspiracy. Jack Smith did not charge- insurrection. He did not charge seditious conspiracy, mm -hmm. right? If he, if, the but reason is because Jack, Smith, he's, though, Jack think... Smith is a good lawyer. What he's doing is he's actually broadly, I would say pretty obviously expanding statutory coverage in weird areas in order to cover a thing that doesn't quite fit into any of these legal categories. But the point that I'm making is that Jack Smith is on my side of this. He doesn't think that he can actually establish the intent necessary to convict under a seditious conspiracy or or an insurrection. I agree charge, with that, right? but